She's going to stay right here. Put your head down. Yes. So how did you, you met, how did you meet Grandpa? You were in Racine, you both were in Racine, obviously, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In high school, or? Well, that's all that. Or is this classified Grandma story? Color no. Grandma how did you meet Grandpa? Colbert? Yeah, Mike, yeah, your uh, husband. I met him when I was 18 and a half years old. Just before, I went with Grandma, Grandpa six months, and then we were married. Six months you dated? Yeah. And, but did you meet him in high school? No, I met him at, at we, I worked at the hospital, all of us girls, my sisters all worked, we all worked at St. Mary's Hospital as aides, you know, okay, nurses aides. And up on the corner, the Eagle Hotel was a tavern. And we would go all on Friday night in the back door for dancing. Okay. You know, we never drank, but we just were da dancing and I think we drank cocoa. And he was a bartender. Grandpa was a bartender? Grandpa was a bartender. And so he came back by us in the back there, and then we got talking and that, and he said, can I take you home? And I said, no. I said, uh, I have to go home with my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and he said, well, can I come see you sometime? And I said, well, you can, okay. So then he, he called, well, that was on a Friday night, and he called on a Sunday. And then we went out to oh, a Oh, so you gave, you gave him your number? I gave him the number, yeah. And then I uh, took and uh, we went to a movie and out for lunch, you know, just a snack after and then, uh -huh. and we went together ever since. Okay, calm down. Ever since we went together. Oh, now I'm going to give those shoes to the dog. Shoes. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to give them to the dog. Give them here. I'll give it to the dog. I'll put him on the dog. Give it to Grandma. I'll put him on the, on Max. Wow. wow! Okay, now lay down right here. Put your head down. <laughs> You're gonna get a swat. Shoes. But his never, his mother never wanted ever to marry me because I was not a, a Czech. Oh, she you wanted, know, she and the other the ones line, married huh? two Czechoslovakia girls that were here in the United States. And she never cared for me. And then she said that I was far here, too Jack. young to get married, she said. Come here. I was just going to turn 19. And she said, you're far too young, and my Eddie isn't ready. <laughs> oh, we got into a great big thing about it. And then uh, I said, Dad, well, if you want your mother, take her. You know, <laughs> that's yours. I said, uh, I'll go my way, you go yours. Said, no, 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 no. So anyway, we... Uh, made plans to be married, and we were married in the church, or in the priest's home, because he wasn't Catholic. So we couldn't be married in church. Oh. You know, at that time, we right, couldn't. Right. And that, so the uh, grandma and grandpa Kovac wouldn't come. They wouldn't come to, nothing to do with the Catholic church. Because I understand when they came to this country, they had something over money with the Catholic church. Oh, yeah. You know, they was always, you know, you donate this much, you know, right, your right. paycheck and everything. Right. Well, I guess that was the end of that. So Grandpa was uh, married, uh, was uh, baptized in the Lutheran church, but he never went to church or anything. Right. You know, and that. Right. And uh, anyway, she was, and she was just, furious with me, you know, and, but Grandpa was as nice, and he was like Edward, real soft-spoken and very nice. You pay no attention, you pay no attention to that. Don't pay no attention to Susie. So anyway, we were married in that, and then when Edward went home and told his mother, he, we were expecting, you do away with that, right away. And she, he said, no, 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 no. So they didn't come to the, to the wedding? You got married in the priest's home, just you and Grandpa? And just No, I, my sister and uh, 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 Ed's friend, Alex, was uh, his name was Alex Kalensky. They were the ones that stood up for us, you uh, know, in that. Uh. And then after that, my mother took us down to Hotel Nelson's and gave us our, our wedding breakfast. They wouldn't come to that neither. Uh, but they did pay for the reception. They did pay, and they came to the reception. Hmm. But Grandma never was in with anybody or anything. I didn't care. It didn't bother me, you know. And <laughs> right, then, right. But Grandpa was very, very nice, and he 
He always, you know, came to the house and oh, he just worshipped the ground we worked on, you know. Yeah. But my grandma. Well, he, yeah, he probably wanted grandkids and stuff, you know. Or, he didn't want, he wanted right, them, but right. not grandma. Yeah. You know, she yeah. didn't want none of them. So I, I said to Ed, well, I said, she ain't got nothing to say on how many kids we got or what we're going to raise them or that. Oh, just leave it go, y'all. <laughs> just leave it go. So anyway, but then now. Years after she came around and that, you know, but Took I don't think while, she ever huh? accepted me into the family like she did the others because they were all older when they got married. Uh, now, uh, Grandpa was only four years older. Now, that wasn't so yeah. much older than right. I was, right. you know, and right. that. But you were 19. Right. I was just going to be 19, uh, yeah, in that. But you didn't have a boyfriend when you were going to these dances? No, he's the first one I ever had. Wow. So I went, you know, we used to have CYO dances, you know, that's yeah. a Catholic club. I used to go there and dance with, you know, every mixture and everything, but I never really dated. I used to go with uh, Harvey, and his name, he was Jewish, you know, very nice kid he was in that, but that was just in high school, but yeah. never dated it, you know, just went yeah. to dances and right. that, but that was all. So what was it about Grandpa that, that you thought He well, just was someone that, that I thought would make a wonderful husband and would treat me nice and everything and would have a family. And that's what he wanted, was mm -hmm. a family mm -hmm. in that. And there wasn't anything I could ask for that he didn't give me, you know, in that. And he, so what happened? So he was tending bar. He was tending. So, and, and you guys started dating. Uh -huh. And then you got married. Six yeah. months later. Uh oh, he kicked out. And then, did he enlist in the army? No, he was drafted. He was drafted. He was drafted. He was drafted. The only one out of and none of Mary's went, and none of Edward's side went. They were all boys the same age in that, and not one of them got drafted, but but Grandpa. So he got drafted into the army. And Jimmy, your dad was six months old when he left. And he came back in three oh, years. Oh, so Dad was born before he before he before left. Before he left, uh -huh. yes, he was six months old, and he was in service for three years. When the war ended, he came back, and the only reason he came back early is because he went according to how many dependents you had. Uh -huh. See, so we had one child, so he was on the list to come home. Right. So he came home. And the whole time he was in service, all I ever got from the government was $60 a month. And I had to live on that. In those days, right. for World War II, you never got hardly, and they never got a pension. Wisconsin never gave the guys a pension. Huh. Mm -mm. So he gets drafted, he goes in, they, and they send him where over to... Well, know, first he went down to uh, Camp Hewlett in Texas. So we, he was going to graduate from there and uh, be sent over. So he said, do you want to come? And I said, yeah, well, I'll be there. So Jimmy and I and Grandma went down on the train at that time. Mm -hmm. And we stayed with him for a week. And then after I left, he was shipped out. He never came home. He never had a furlough or anything. He was gone the whole time. The whole three years he was gone. So you, when, when he got shipped out, you guys went back to Racine? Yeah, we were. she moved in with me then to help me pay the rent. And, the, yeah. and we were only paying $40 a month. But I mean, but still, she yeah, all you have is $60. $60 is what the government gave me the right. whole time, three right. years. Right. And when I stop and think, I mean, not I, I don't begrudge Justin getting more money or whatever, you know. Yeah. But that's the way they worked it. And yep. he was... Uh, uh, I think a staff sergeant mm -hmm. and that so he got got a little more but he got so much and then the government sent us that so every so often he would save some money and send it home and he was where in France Germany and he went to Germany mm -hmm. in Germany the whole time he crossed the Rhine and he was in in two of the big battles out there and that and uh, his best buddy um, Ed Kepka came from Illinois, and that was, he roomed with him all the time. And they were out on, on uh, patrol duty, you know, at night, you mm -hmm. know, guarding and that. And they both were going, and he said, he heard one shot, and he said, oh my God, I know it's Ed. So the bullet went right straight through his helmet, but didn't hit him. Through Grandpa's helmet? No, no, through, through his buddy's. His buddy's helmet. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh -huh. Went right straight to, but it, it never hit his head or anything oh, because yeah, evidently it was something. up high enough that yeah. he went through it and that. And I can't understand Grandpa ever being on patrol because he was afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> oh, he, he'd say, Al, you go first. Al, you go first. You know, he always did that. And I don't know how he ever did it, but he said he thought a so couple times, pretty, you know. That must have been pretty tough with him being gone for three years straight. And, it is. And, it was. Yeah. I mean, and we were just married, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. and that. Were, and I, you know, had to make ends yeah. meet. Well, you were, married, you were married, and how soon after you were married did you get pregnant with Dad? Y yeah, like right and away? I got pregnant, yeah. Like pretty much right away? I was pregnant when I was married. Ah, so he, he gets born, and six months later, he has to get shipped out, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's wow. right. Wow, so you guys weren't even married a year, no, really. No, we weren't married that long. And my born. sister Mary always said, that it's never going to last. You're never going to stay married <laughs> even that long. Well, when I celebrated 50 years, Did I said to, to my sister, <laughs> Here I am, it's 50 years later, and we're still together, you know. Yeah. But he was good. He was good to the family and everything. You couldn't find a nicer husband or father than what, what So Grandpa did you get letters every, like, every yeah. couple of months he or would, whatever from yeah, Germany? Yeah, he would write, but he wrote so little, you know, that I had to skip with it. And I laughed my cousin and said, is he in the army or is he in the cavalry? He always sent cowboy pictures. You know, he'd sit on a horse or something. <laughs> and, then, and they'd say, what is he in the cavalry? Did you hurt your hand? Something happened to your hand? You don't want to take a nap today, huh? You're going to go to bed early tonight like you did last night? That's fine with me. We're going to need to eat some lunch then. You want to eat something? Are you hungry? Yeah? Okay. You want to eat some lunch then? Are you hungry at all? Oh no, but I'll go in with you anyway. Okay. All right. Oh boy.